Have you ever been contacted by a stranger offering you a job on WhatsApp? Picture this, you've signed up on a job platform like Indeed and before you know it your phone is buzzing with messages. These aren't your typical job offers though, they're from complete strangers and they're asking to migrate the conversation to WhatsApp. You might ask yourself, why WhatsApp? It's a good question. There's an insistent push to move the dialogue there, almost as if it's a prerequisite for the job offer to stand. You'll notice that they don't just want to chat. They want to talk business, discuss your role and even dive into financial details. They're keen on getting you to use WhatsApp. You might be flattered by the attention or excited about the job prospects, but something doesn't feel quite right. It's too sudden, too insistent, too strange. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, that's because it often is. So, what are the red flags that can alert you to a potential scam? First and foremost, poor grammar is a significant warning sign. It's not just a lack of linguistic prowess, it's a calculated move by the scammers to come across as non-threatening. Another red flag is the absence of detailed communication. Scammers typically keep things vague, avoiding concrete job descriptions or clear explanations about the nature of the work, and then there's the push for financial information. Remember, reputable organizations will never ask for sensitive account details up front. This is a classic move in the scammer's playbook. But perhaps the most insidious tactic is the seemingly innocent link they might send over. Clicking on such a link could compromise your financial security. The scammers could potentially gain access to your computer and, by extension, your funds. So the next time you're contacted with a job offer that seems too good to be true, take a moment to look for these red flags. Remember, if it seems off, it probably is. So, how can you protect yourself from these scams? Let's dive right in. First off, never share your sensitive financial information with anyone you don't fully trust. This includes bank account details, credit card numbers, and even your social security number. If a job offer requires such information up front, take it as a red flag. Next, be wary of suspicious links. Scammers often use these to gain access to your personal devices, and ultimately, your financial resources. If a link seems off, don't click on it. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. Lastly, don't hesitate to report any suspicious activity. There are several platforms and agencies available to help, including local law enforcement and online reporting tools. By reporting, you're not only protecting yourself but also helping to prevent others from falling victim to the same scam. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is.